Hi, welcome to Sports Fix. I'm Ed. Yes, it's the weekend when everybody in the office suddenly becomes an expert on national hunt racing. It's the Grand National. Cloudy Lane looks certain to start favourite for Saturday's big race. With the field of 40 now confirmed, the eight-year-old could be one of the shortest market leaders of the race as trainer Donald McCain tries to continue the family's entry legacy. His old man, of course, Ginger, saddled four national winners, including triple hero Red Rum, seen here back in the 70s. Some wonderful pictures of those. And uh, Amberley House, of course, four years ago, also a winner for Ginger. Now, if you're a bit stuck for one to choose, you've got your pencil out, you just don't know where to point it, here's a few ideas. Bewley's Berries won for me, jumped around here when running well over the big fences in November, and he made it look to me as if he was a real entry type. He fell last year, but he learned a lot, and he'll stay longer than your mother-in-law, as they say. Now, Snowy Morning is a pretty good horse at his best, and his odds, for me, are really pretty long for a horse of his calibre. But Darjon is the one to look out for, a real respectable horse who's upped his game late in his career. He'll wear blinkers, and he's also the tip of Ricky George, ex-footballer and owner of the 1998 national winner, Earth Summit. Uh, I'm going for Darjon because uh, he's always had ability, but he wasn't a great jumper. Uh, they fitted him with blinkers recently. It has galvanised his jumping. He, he won the tote chase at Warwick in January, and his jumping has been very, very good since they fitted him with blinkers. Uh, people have said in the past uh, that Grand National horses uh, with blinkers don't often win. That's true. Uh, Lescargo won it wearing blinkers in 1975 and of course Earth Summit, our own horse, was blinkered when he won it in 1998. Now I know from experience uh, the way that the uh, fitting of blinkers helped Earth Summit in all his races, uh, which is why one of the reasons why he became so successful and so that's why I'm gambling on Darjon to do the same this year. Ricky George there with his prediction for the big winner. I wonder what yours is. Who have you got in the sweepstake? I've got Norton's Brook. No chance whatsoever. Moving on, press is building on Formula One boss Mosley. The FIA president's been fighting calls this week to resign over newspaper allegations about his private life. The 67-year-old insists he has support to continue with his role. But manufacturing giants Toyota, BMW and Mercedes-Benz are now demanding a detailed investigation into the reports. Finally, to the FA Cup and Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank says he can't wait for his first Wembley appearance in eight years. The Dutch striker, seen here in his Chelsea days, will be Cardiff's main goal threat as they meet fellow championship side Barnsley in North London in the FA Cup semi-final on Sunday. Cardiff will be playing at the famous venue for the first time since they won the FA Cup way back in 1927. Hasselbank has kick-started his career at Ninian Park and says this is the culmination of a great season for him and the club. I feel magnificent. Uh, I, I've enjoyed the whole year here and, and to be fair we have got some good players here uh, and I don't think that, that people give us enough credit for that. Uh, we are trying to play football, you know, uh, uh, like, like West Brom and, and, and Bristol, Bristol City are, are doing. And, um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't come off, but you know, most of the time it does. And, and uh, I must say, yeah, it's 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 an ama it's been an amazing year. Hopefully, it doesn't stop here. Good to see Jimmy back in the headlines. Good luck to him and to Cardiff in the FA Cup, and good luck to you if you reckon you've picked the winner in the Grand National. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.